some weird noises. Crying of the baby? There you are. Have you come to claim my... Hello? Oh, it's the different outfits of the masks. But the dialogue just speed run. It's kinda creepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> Is this child real or outside of the headset? Like, I'm so confused. It's not exactly cozy, is it? Lonely even. Is that what you think I feel? A king is never alone. You'll see. There's plenty of room for your dreams and ambitions. Something is sure. Since you're there, I feel warmer, more embodied. You may sometimes have regarded me as a little manipulative during your journey. But don't be fooled. We are much more alike than it seems to be. You're getting warmer. Let's figure out if you can perform the role until the final act. <laughs> the audience of masks. They're flat though, <laughs> if I see from the side. But a good try for the illusion. Now, there is nothing more we can teach you. You must find yourself. First, you must remove the ancient master's mask you're now wearing. This time you will remain here, don't worry. I stopped changing faces long ago, after I'd forgotten what lay underneath. No more riddles! Now, you are free to design. This mask must truly represent you. Free yourself. Free us. You're the creator now. Be who you must. Oh wow. I get to create my own mask. I'm not necessarily... You need to wear your own mask before you can become anything else. That type of <laughs> artist, I would say? It has a lot of triangles and details you can put, so it can be literally anything. <sighs> I guess I'll have to search for some inspiration, <laughs> so give me a hot minute. <laughs> Three days later. Okay, it took me some time <laughs> to think about something, I don't know, creative, like I'm not that person to do that. I wanted to redesign a rainbow pattern because normally by default it's rotten, like it's not pretty to look at and stuff like that. I had like couple designs in my mind, but I think this one is like more subdued. <laughs> it's more simple than from what I was thinking. And I like it, like it's like a demonic rainbow. This, yeah, something. <laughs> Are you happy with this mask? If so, come to work. See the world in the old. Careful once you leave the workbench. You can't make any changes. This mask must truly represent you to get you both. Oh. I'm good. Finally, you made it. This magic is all you. You have reached behind the mask. You are the new mask maker. It took you a long time to find this place deep within. Finish your apprenticeship at last. And bring back the piece of yourself that was trapped here. Can we get rid of the mask vignette? <laughs> At 
at last. The apprenticeship is finished. No more haunted voice in your head. Now you have healed the realm. You have given yourself a chance. A chance I never gave you. It is time to close the door on your past, on this world. The realm will survive, have no fear. Now they finally see you with your true face. You are their ruler no longer, because each of them is a part of you. In truth, they never needed a king, only a craftsman. Leave your master's mask behind. You will not need it here anymore. Now what? Yes! Free at last! Let go, Prospero. Let go, mask maker. Creepy. Welcome home, old friend. The kingdom is at peace, and you faced your reflection, made yourself whole. All that you've learned will remain here, in your heart and in this room. But outside, the real world is waiting. Ah. Prospero, open up your shop. Will you return? We need that. <laughs> Some of those we made, the other ones are custom. <laughs> Doable as well. Maybe in a sequel or something, who knows. No one knew why the mask maker suddenly returned to the town. His shop restocked with mysterious smells, fabulous dyes, and dazzling designs, both new and old. It was said the mask maker's craft could reveal your deepest hopes, uh, whether you wanted it to or not. As though in his life he had studied all the faces of humanity and known them all. But humans find never new ways to change themselves and his masks mostly allowed people to become what they wished or what they thought they wanted and all only for a night at carnival time <laughs> oh here we go with the courier <laughs> Well, I think I get now the storyline and it's like message. It was a very cool concept overall, like nothing that I've seen before. There was like a gameplay loop I noticed after a while, like you'll be just collecting components, driving to different worlds and that would be like the same thing in different environments. Some puzzles were cool, some were a little bit unclear due to the quest port, like the textures were too low in just clearance of reading or what you needed to do. I very much wish I would play it on PC VR. I don't know why the devs decided to not have a cross by option, like that makes no sense. Some say it might be greed, maybe they just forgot to, I don't know, flip the switch, like who knows. Overall, it was pretty good. There were some moments that I was like, hmm, I don't think so. But I would be very much looking forward to maybe a potential sequel, like who knows. Oh, it was made by French people, see? <laughs> we know quality. Oh, and do not forget to take off that strange mesmerizing mask you wear on your head. Oh yes, the mask maker sees all. Oh, what's this? This is the last save file, but creative mode? I suppose just to... Okay. The thing that we did in a castle. Go through the workshop door to exit creative mode. 
If you crit all marks that are not saved will be lost. Yeah, so this is now like a mask simulator. Whatever you want to create, you can do it here. I also wish there would be like a export option, maybe to like 3D print it or something. Then you'd have to paint it, but it's worth the effort, I would say. That will be it in this playlist and I approve this. <laughs>